Hello. Hello! Welcome back to Marvel Live from San Diego Comic Con 2015. I'm Lorraine Sink, host and writer at Marvel's The Watcher, joined by Ryan Panagos, aka Marvel's Agent M, and I'm joined by Mel Kirk and with Zen Studios. Stephen Hopper, I'm also with Zen Studios. Zen Studios, makers of Marvel a Pinball. Very right. cool. <laughs> Yeah, Silver Ball action with uh, all your favorite Marvel superheroes, and uh, we got quite a series going at this point. I don't know, three years now we've been doing this. So. Well, yeah, I, I actually wanted to ask, how many tables do you guys know oh, off the top of your head? How many? Oh gosh, you guys got to come uh, prepared. <laughs> yeah, we have 21 actually with Ant Man. It's well going to be our 21st done. table. Well done. Uh, 21 tables. Yeah, so Ant Man is is it out yet? Is it? Because I know we were just like announcing it recently, like this yeah. week. Ant-Man's uh, coming out next week. Next yeah. week, okay. And uh, there's actually early codes available now. Uh, if you tweet at us, you might be able to like Ooh. score something. Where would they have to tweet? <laughs> Just tweet at Design Studios and tell them why you want Ant-Man pinball early. And, you know, <laughs> we have uh, ability to get you the game early. So nice. Really you guys, get on that. And two, you can send us your questions and your tweets and hashtag Marvel SDCC, and we'll answer them live right now on the air. Somebody's already asking, which team are you guys on? Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Looking forward to oh, Civil man. War, I think. That's a tough one. It's funny because we have a Civil War table. There you so go. So you can play that now and you can actually learn about, you know, what's going on in the story <laughs> if you haven't read the Based comics on yet. Based the comic yeah. story, yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm definitely on Cap's side. And I'm, I'm going that way. <laughs> I got to go with Cap, too. Okay. Yeah. Nobody likes uh, the pseudo-fascism that people start <laughs> to talk about with Iron Man. I don't yeah, know why. I don't, I don't know. Why. It's weird because, like, fascism is pretty popular. I will say, though, he makes some salient points, <laughs> this Iron Man fellow. Oh, yeah, oh, I, can see, I see that. He's a kind of a genius. I, yes. I, I, can, I can see it. Um, but you guys have been innovating each of your tables every time, you know, I remember when the Infinity Gauntlet table came out and like was just, I was like jaw on the floor as I first saw it being developed and coming together with like flipping everything upside down and around and all kinds of cool stuff. What are you guys doing different and new and fun this time for Ant-Man? I'd say that probably the most exciting thing with Ant-Man and the innovative thing is the particle ball. Oh. Basically, we have shrinking pinballs, oh, and cool. uh, that's never been done before in any pinball, uh, whether machine or video game. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else? The uh, the uh, wizard mode is really cool with Yellow Jacket and Ant Man. Their um, their battle at the end is pretty epic as far as what you would expect to see on a pinball table. Guys duking it out. What else? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we have a bunch of different multi-ball modes. Um, as Mel mentioned, the particle ball mode is a really cool multi-ball. There's also, uh, you know. Uh, Scott has, you know, ant buddies mm -hmm. in the in the film, and you can actually take advantage of that on the table. And there's like a, an ant friend multi ball. That That's you can awesome. Do. Um, yeah, the wizard mode is awesome too. It's a pretty epic showdown between Ant Man and Yellow Jacket, and uh, I think our fans are going to be really excited for it. I know uh, one fan in particular you guys have is Dan Slott, uh -huh. <laughs> amazing Spider-Man writer Dan Slott, who I remember was super obsessed for a very long time, and I know I. When he he probably doesn't say it as much because he gets in trouble for not working, but uh, he is really good at Marvel pinball, uh, and uh, I know he was really excited. He spent some serious time on the Spider-Man table, um, <laughs> and he's actually today, still to this day, on three, on Xbox 360 anyway. He's like in the top five global scores. Jeez. So I don't know if he's moved on to Xbox One yet or not, but on the 360, his score reigns. I mean, it's it's up there. It's That's epic. incredible. That's awesome. Yeah. We have a question coming in from our friend Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Uh, she said, there's an Ant-Man table. Uh, wow, which is your favorite table to play? Uh, I think it's the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. Uh, you know, what we do with the gems and bending the table and going upside down and with, so with the reality gem. I mean, it's like it, Thanos has ultimate control over that table and we just let him take control, so yeah. um, that's my favorite. Yeah, uh, that's a great one. Uh, my favorite though, uh, I'd have to go with Moon Knight. Like, I think that is just a really, you know, classic table for what we were trying to do when it came to, you know, our Marvel pinball lineup. I think, you know, our, our, our developers were really, really excited about the prospect of doing a, a Moon Knight table. Um, you know, it's he's kind of a character that, that hasn't been explored a ton, you know, in other medium outside of, you know, comics. Yeah. Um, so being able to like, actually create a table based on him and, and you know his his whole universe was really exciting and it's you know it's still one of my favorite tables. It came out a while ago, but it's still you know definitely one of my favorite Marvel tables that we've done. I believe the Moonbow has been added to his arsenal, and that was what we created for the table. It was an original weapon, so we have a piece of wow story. <laughs> Congratulations to you guys! Um, did you was I correct? You guys have a big sale going on right now. Um, there's gonna be, well, there's gonna yes, be yeah. Maybe? Keep our eye out. There's gonna be some big sales <laughs> coming. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't. It's the 
is a sale coming for a mobile platform that's going to be fairly prominent and uh, yeah there's deals but so, cool yeah, stuff coming cool stuff yeah, yeah. if you if you're looking to get into the game you want to explore you want to buy some stuff on sale like it just they're coming it's a good time to do it you know it's awesome yeah what is the process like for breaking down a character from a comic or from a movie and then trying to incorporate that in a game i mean that seems like a kind of interesting transition yeah it's definitely a challenge um, but <clears throat> we spend a lot of time just trying to research and understand the character before we go to yeah. work on it and that sometimes lasts as long as two months and we try to pick out all the best aspects and all the best attributes the features that we want to build in and then you know once that when, once that lives on paper and everyone agrees that that's the way to go we start work on that um, good working with films is uh, challenging in itself because sometimes things change in the film and sure. you develop an asset and then like filmmakers like oh no that totally changed the color <laughs> the shape and it's already living in a 3d model and you got to go back and do it again but right. It's fun, you know, like to be part of like what you guys are doing and part of the hype is like a lot of fun. So it's worth it. That's awesome. Uh, what? Um, oh, you have a question? Uh, yes, they wanted to know which Marvel movie upcoming that you guys are most excited about, uh, and I want to know of that which are you most excited to make a table for potentially. You go first. I got to think about this. Uh, one. So it's kind of interesting because uh, you know we talk about this a lot, but it seems that a lot of the films that are coming out on the you know Marvel Studios mm -hmm. slate are things that we've already done pinball tables for. Oh. So it's, it's almost like we were a little bit of a, ahead of the curve there when it mm -hmm. came to a lot of things. We already have a Civil War table, as Mel mentioned. Uh, we have a Doctor Strange table already. Um, you know, uh, for me personally, you know, Inhumans sounds Ooh, yeah. pretty awesome. Like, I'm really, really looking forward to that movie. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed, maybe we might see a pinball table for it. Very cool. Yeah. There's just so much. And it's hard for me to start talking because I know it's coming <laughs> and I don't want to... Sure. Reveal there's a lot of cool potential. There's yes. a lot of potential. So I'll yeah. say, yeah, um, there's a good chance we're working on the Stuff. movie I want to do. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> the um, you guys because the nature of Marvel Pinball being a, a video game, being online, you guys can I, I, I'm sure see all the scores and how many people are playing. What has been what have been the most popular tables historically for you guys? The most popular uh, was probably our original pack. Um, that that. And every time we release something new, um, like the original pack gets a huge boost. So uh, Spider-Man, Wolverine, Iron Man, and Blade. Mm -hmm. And it's really funny because people actually go to Blade and they say that that's their favorite table. Um, but those, those have performed the best. Um, we saw a huge spike with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. That was a, like an as an individual release goes in Deadpool too. Deadpool oh, is just, that yeah. guy's crazy. Uh, <laughs> Nolan North did such a fantastic job uh, on, you know, being Deadpool. So it just brought the whole game to life on a whole new, another level. So those ones have been the best. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, we have a couple comments coming in. Uh, Comic Book Bro said, hey, everyone, love all of the Marvel pinball games. Good stuff. Uh, the Loud Idiot said, would you love to try out the new, or would love to try out the new Ant-Man table, us too. And, um, and Mike Da Chuck, I hope I said your name right. Uh, what table would you like to create that hasn't come out yet? Like if you, what, who like, are your favorite Marvel yeah. characters? Man, I'm trying to think because we have 21 now. Oh, so wow. Deadpool was the one that I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Back when we first started, he was kind of on a like, we couldn't do anything with Deadpool, but then we were able to all of a sudden, and so we jumped on that. That was like my dream come true. Um, still to come, I'd love to see some female characters get more love. Yeah. Um, and I'd like a Captain Marvel table, please. Yes, yes, yes please. Yeah. What about you, Steve? I agree. Uh, yeah. Captain Marvel would be an amazing table. A yeah. Ms. Marvel table with oh, Kamala Khan and like stretchy. And big fists. Oh, uh, and yeah. biggins and, and smallins and. Oh, and maybe a, a, a cameo from Lockjaw. So I don't know. So if you need Lorraine and I to help yeah, develop these help tables, we're, we're, we're or... ready. We're ready to be on the production side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Producer credits over on that. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're ready to go, ready to help out. Um, Maybe even Secret Wars. Like, there's so much you could do with oh Secret my gosh, Wars. Yes. Uh, oh, could, yeah. The problem is, like, that could go on and on. I don't know where, where we would feel like we've done enough to, like, justify. Like, we've got the whole, all of Secret Wars contained. Why do you do, like, a 10, uh, a 10 right. table Secret Wars pack that, you know, you do 10 different tables for different domains? Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Are you guys reading those books? Yes. We've, we've got all the books. Yeah. So, it's so good. It's just so many possibilities. Um, yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. We have more things coming in. Comic Book Bros, can we have a Black Panther pinball game? Don't we have Black Panther somewhere? We don't have Black Not Panther yet. yet. Not okay. Yet. okay. Not yet. We want Black Panther. We love we want, Black Panther. We have requests. And you guys can send us your questions and comments on hashtag MarvelSDCC. Uh, ben Morse, 
back in the Marvel offices. Hi, thanks for watching. We, we miss you too. So what was the first original pack? The first original pack was Spider-Man, Wolverine, Iron Man, and Blade. And that was, man, that was 2011, I believe. Gosh. So November of 2011. Where are we now? August of 2015. <laughs> Not even August yet. Not even August. Yet. I mean, July. You can jump, I'm okay if you jump ahead to August because that means I'm the weather's August. getting colder soon, yeah. <laughs> sooner, and I am dying. Yeah. Um, um, G so, Balfour yeah. also would like to know, do you guys have a Loki table? Loki is in the Thor table. Um, that's his only appearance so far. I, no, no, and he's in Fear. the Avengers. He's yeah. in the Avengers. So and, uh, I believe he's on Fear Itself. Fear Itself. Yeah. Fear pretty, Itself is really cool. Check that's out That's a great out. table. Yeah. What makes that one so different, so special? It's just, it's got a personality um, that I think um, it's very, it's darker than anything we've done. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Like the, the plunger is really cool. Uh, it's, it's very unique. The dra uh, which is the dragon's name is escaping my mind at the moment. Um, is like the ball comes shooting out of his mouth. And it's freaking unbelievable. Call? It's really cool. Is it Call? Um, I don't know. One of those Too many guys, 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 you guys, there's so many characters so many in my head right now. Um, we have another question coming in. Uh, Oaken would like to know, is Wasp featured in the Ant-Man table? Wasp. Wasp is on the playfield artwork, but he's not a 3D character. Okay. Yes. So he's... Uh, she. 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 Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going character overload right now, just trying to picture the table in my head. Um, she is not a 3D character, but she's on the playfield mm -hmm. artwork. There's a, mo there's a Wasp mode, a hurry-up mode. And uh, so that's the feature. What does that mean, a hurry up mode? So basically in pinball, there's uh, when you activate different modes, mm -hmm. uh, there's different goals. Like sometimes you want to hit drop targets, sometimes you want to hit bumpers. In uh, a hurry up mode is like when you activate it, you got to get something done in a certain amount of time. And if you do, you got a huge bonus and uh, scores go up. Cool. Well, where yep. can people find you online? People can find us uh, at our, on our blog, zenstudios.com. Mm -hmm. um, we're on Twitter, at Zen Studios. We're on Facebook. You can find me. I'm not, I'm sort of interesting. Mel G. Kirk on Twitter. He's what are you? I'm on there too. Uh, Stephen Hopper, Stephen yeah. underscore Hopper on Twitter. Cool. Awesome. Thank you guys. You guys check out Marvel Pinball. Download it online. We're going to be back soon with Lindy Greenwood from Sleepy Hollow.